Welcome to From the Deep. I am Mike Finder. And I am Book of Brett. And today we are doing our second ever Let's Watch. I think we are going to turn this into a series that we're going to call Drunk Drive-In or something less horrible. I, I'm there not ha- sure. There has to be a hyphen in there because otherwise we're definitely yeah. getting flagged. Yeah, uh, we do not support drinking and driving. Let's just no. get that out of the way. But we uh, do support drinking at a drive-in. Yes, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, if you guys watched the last episode, we'll link that above right here right now. Uh, We watched Monstroid, and it was an awfully awful good time. I was going to say, you could get rid of the (laughs) L-Y on that, and it's an apt description. (laughs) And that kind of leads into what we're going to be watching today, which is going to be Snow Beast from 1977. Admittedly, I know nothing about this movie exactly the way we did Monstroid last time. Uh, we watched the trailer, and that is literally the only thing that we know about this film. Uh, I, I do know it's based in Colorado. I do know it's based in Colorado, which okay. makes me pretty excited to watch this. This, what I'm assuming is a dumpster fire. I, I, I think this will be a, a nice warming dumpster fire for these winter days we're having right now. Well, um, should we look this up on IMDb or something so that we have some idea of maybe what we're looking at here? We're getting hurt. So as I look this up on IMDb, why don't you tell me what you are drinking? So tonight I am drinking an oatmeal stout by Bristol Brewing Company. And the reason I am drinking this and why would it focus? Why why would it focus on it? That would work. What's it called? It's called Winter Warlock, um, okay. and I'm going to do a shameless plug here and say that I actually filmed a commercial for this very beer that I'm drinking tonight, um, and I am That's proud cool. of that, and so I am going to say it. Um, so yeah, so and this is actually one, this was one of my favorite beers before I filmed the commercial, and so I was like, yeah, why not? I like stouts too. Stouts are like my favorite beer. Okay, um, I am drinking... Rogue's Bat Squatch. I'll see if I can get this to focus a little bit. Rogue makes good stuff. Probably not. Um, Rogue makes really good stuff. Yeah, this is a uh, hazy India pale ale. I'm already down to, this is, I'm on my second beer, so. Me too, me too. We we, we started already. I had a, uh, because I do freelance, I did nothing today. And so uh, I'm, I'm rewarding myself for doing nothing today. So, Snow Beast is from 1977. It's an hour and a half long, and is it a, it, it is a TV movie. So we should really, oh, really make sure God. that we point that out. This is a TV movie set in Colorado from 1977. IMDb's short one-sentence synopsis is, A Colorado ski resort is besieged by a subhuman beast that commits brutal murders on the slopes. That means it's Vale, Asmere, Breckenridge. That's where yeah, this is, this, yeah, is going to happen. Yeah, Um more than likely, this will this will take place um, up near where Brett is right now. Actually, yep. uh, not far from there. So, yep. um, with that, all that being said, uh, we have no idea what this movie is. We're gonna have to blur the really terrible parts if there are really terrible slash. It's made for TV nudity. and it's in the seventies. Um, yeah, so th- that's a good point. Hopefully, we won't have to do too much. Uh, censoring around here so um let's just get into it shall we this is snow beast from 1977 i'll count down from three here we go three two one play god where's uh where's david attenborough when you need him (laughs) The snowy slopes of Colorado. The snow fox is a graceful creature. <laughs> what a great name. Svensson. It's a great name. Mimio. Mimo? Mimio? We made comically large bowls of popcorn for this evening. Mm. Mm. Mine, is a, mine is an Amish popcorn in a Christmas bowl. That makes sense. Music's pretty good so far. You know, most of this stuff is not to... There it is. That's what I was going to say. 
This is very Oops. artsy at the beginning, and then a giant. <laughs> We're already starting with a POV shot. Always. <laughs> slow motion ski. Oh, they're not even in slow motion. They just appear that way. Yep. Well, you know, you got to go slow. You know, as somebody who has filmed on a snowboard, I have the utmost respect for this cameraman right now. Yeah, especially in the 70s, how big those things were. Oh, yeah. Cannot tell. This looks like it's backcountry. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, Brett, it lives in Colorado. I lived there for a long time. So we are familiar with the area in theory that this is going to be set in. Yeah, and I've been to a lot of the ski resorts in the state. So well, this could be this could be over near Aspen. I would say it's almost definitely going to be near Aspen. This music is so strange. It's this is like 70s to the max, man. Come on, let's go. Go back. Go back, go back where to the top? I have no Come reason on. to believe that. She almost tripped over. Did you see that? Do you think they already knew how to ski? Like, do you think that was part of like you have to know how to ski? Oh, definitely. I would hope so. Giant yeti hides between skinny trees in broad daylight with no <laughs> leaves isn't it just a great day to get eaten in half by a yeti oh we don't know it's a yeti I'm just assuming that's I guess. true that's true it's a snow beast that's a handprint that is a handprint <laughs> yeah somebody just like did a thing and then wiped it. Yeah. Aye! That was really weird. Wait, she just left her friend there? <laughs> she was like, deuces. What a <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, that probably wouldn't have happened if you wouldn't have... <laughs> We're just going to move right on from that. All right. Yep. Nope. No continuity needed. <laughs> we, no continuity needed. Okay, well, this is definitely at a resort. Interesting. Wish they'd show more of it. And some wide shots in here. Yeah, there haven't been any wide shots. Well, I mean, there have been a couple when they were skiing, but... Winter Carnival. They never do announcements like these at resorts. You know why? Nobody can hear them. We've got cross country skiing, snowmobiling, dog sled racing. I wonder if we could figure out where this was filmed. This might not even have been filmed in Colorado. Oh, dude, I. Who is that? Oh, yeah. It's what we used to call hot dogging. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's not what hot dog will be judged on grace and originality, <laughs> not on your audacity. Oh, they filmed this in Crested Butt. Butte, but okay. But that that makes sense. You know yeah. why? Do you know how expensive it would be to film in Aspen or Breckenridge? Yeah, uh, twelve Snowmass Road. Interesting. So uh, that makes yeah, sense with the backcountry. Yeah, it was filmed in the ski resort. Yeah, that makes sense with the backcountry. Crested Butte has a ton of backcountry skiing. We're only pronouncing it butt from here on out. Thanks. Crested butt. Crusted butt. Crusted, <laughs> crusted, crusted, crusted butt. butt. Buster Smith wants to talk to you. Uh, We're adults. Hi, Buster. What can I do for you? Mr. Rill, can I talk to you a moment? Talk to me private. Sure. <laughs> Come back here, Buster. My bird's name so is Buster. You remembered, Betty Jo, even though your mother's too young to remember, that I was the very first queen of our very first winter carnival. I wish I knew I was only what 16. that lady was in. That was uh, 
50 years ago. Yeah, she's Tony, definitely in something I've seen before. It's a fine time to be going skiing. Uh, hardly, Grandma. We have a little problem. The manager takes care of big problems, which we don't have at Real Lodge. No, no big problems here, Grandma. No, no, why would you? Skiing isn't dangerous. It's so hard on IMDb to tell who's who because they always show, like, the headshots of them when they were 20. Yeah. She kind of reminds me of the mom from Christmas Vac- or the grandma from Christmas Vacation. Well, she's in a movie- she's in a comedy like that. Ah, oh, oh. yes. Just two men headed out into the wilderness together. She's in Beetlejuice. Oh, that's right. She's like the, the, the rep for the day yeah. or whatever. Yeah, the Beetlejuice. secretary. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Is this going to be a good movie? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, you watched the trailer, didn't you? Yeah. Heidi, can you explain to me exactly where... You won't where... believe me either. Based off Nobody the trailer, probably me. not, but who knows. Well, what's more important, finding your friend or trying to convince us that there's some kind of monster out there? I don't know where she is because I abandoned her. I feel like they're equally important and maybe that one could not go without the other. So. I'm crazy. Nobody thinks you're crazy. I think she's crazy. The problem is the patrolmen haven't been able to find Jennifer yet. In fact, they can't even find your tracks. You're gonna have to get a hold of yourself and take <laughs> the, back just have this monster cover her tracks. <laughs> just with like a branch, just yeah. dusting their tracks in the snow. Please, I can't. Okay. Okay. But you can describe the spot, can't you? No. What did he call it? The only thing I can. Did he call it a butt? Put That's what I thought he oh. said. <laughs> Did she, did we just talk over when she was like, all I saw was a butt? And he was like, well, you can describe this butt, can't you? It was a big furry butt. You always expect me to keep an eye on her. Had a birthmark just above the left right now. butt no, 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 cheek. No, don't worry them unnecessarily like that. We're going to find you, I promise you. Let's get back to the lodge and get yourself warmed up. I'll have Buster drive you down. I have the worst delivery in movie history. Now uh, sit down. If only she had a tauntaun to keep warm. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Tony, we passed an old barn off by itself near a stream. Oh my. Good girl. Is this a Canadian movie? Yeah. Take her down well, to the I don't lodge, think so, you know. It, it's filmed in Colorado. I'd hate to have our guests or anybody at Carnival hear that kind of story. From any of us, huh? My delivery is as frigid as the Let's snow. Let's split up to see what we can find. We'll meet back at the lodge in a half hour. Let's go. Everybody got your tight, tight pants on? <laughs> Good. Quick, everybody cover the same square footage. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean you couldn't find her on all of the open space that's only on this <laughs> ski resort? How weird. Do you see her, Fred? No, I'm right behind you. <laughs> Split up, what are you doing? <laughs> They're in teams. Well, they're in team. <laughs> it does feel like they're all in shouting distance. <laughs> Do you see anything over there? No. <laughs> oh no, uh, one is gonna get eaten. Somebody's gonna get eaten. Somebody better get eaten. How are they all not seeing the giant bear-like creature? Well, you see, there's these really thin evergreens hanging around, and she's just kind of <laughs> hiding in those. Have you seen that GoPro footage of that girl snowboarding, and she has no idea there's a bear chasing her? I have seen that. I have seen that. Maybe it's like that. 
You see how well he disappears? <laughs> into the <laughs> into the no leaves. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for foliage. blood oh there's blood the world's tiniest jacket oh I see him I saw him he did was you moving uh, in the, I didn't see him he was moving in the trees now listen is it more important to find this woman or that I believe you that there's a monster in the trees either way I've got her jacket Do we have your I'm sorry. Who brings luggage to a ski Olympics? lodge? But then when you won that gold medal, Whenever gold you're gold. actually yeah. vacationing there. <laughs> what did get? Yeah, no, that goes Don't to the hotel room. It's all connected. Remember in Breckenridge, they have those areas that you can ski directly into? Thank you. No, so I know, you but that's still a hotel. That's just great. It well, doesn't matter. It, 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 it doesn't matter. Gee, it sure is great to be me. He looks like a B-movie Kurt Russell. Well, it's nice to feel wanted somewhere. Oh, sh**. Oh, man. They've been on the screen for three seconds, and we already know they don't have sex with each other anymore. <laughs> well, never mind. I'm not going to say that out loud. <laughs> Got to cross the line somewhere. Mm. There's bear involved. It's going to happen. You're the, you're the one editing. Hey, Tony. Oh, God, it's Richard. I don't think you recognize yep. him. <laughs> I think he did. I think he did. Perhaps he's got something more important to do right now. Or he snubbed no. me, Carol. He snubbed but me good. Tony knows I'm going to ask him for a job. How could he know oh, that? Uh oh, uh oh, someone's unemployed. Yeah, you were right. I wonder how he's famous, did they say? Coming up here was a dumb idea. Coming up here was a dumb idea. I never said it was a dumb idea. I just said you might be better off looking for work outside the ski business. This is all I know how to do. Oh, he's like a famous you know skier or something. You don't really want Maybe. a job. This is just an excuse to back out and still feel right about it. Listen here. This wasn't an animal. That, and it wasn't human offensive? either. See, I told you he saw it. Well, it certainly narrows it down. I saw it. Did the other men see it? I don't think so. You didn't ask them? If they'd have seen it, they'd have told me. They thought Heidi was imagining things. They couldn't possibly think that of you. One word from you, it'd be all over town in a minute. Do you oh, think she dies by the snow bees and that's how she ends up in Beetlejuice? <laughs> I'm not hiding anything. I didn't tell the men because I wanted to get them out of the area as quick as I could. Yes. Not because you have a vested interest in the future of this resort. Grandma, I'm going to try to spell don't, it out for you. Don't very all of you? Simple. It's kind of what There's I was something thinking. something very strange and very dangerous out there. And yeah, they're called mountain there, lions, fine. you lunatic. We could designate the area avalanche prone and just seal it off. Can you at least explain what it was? To come any nearer. Wouldn't it have done so by now? He did just say what it wasn't something. On? You don't know anything about it. I mean, you don't know how long it's been up there. When it got there, it could have got there last night. Just in time for the winter carnival. Well, that was 80 yard so to the max. I love the way that she says carnival, though. Carnival. It sounds so classy. Yeah, I haven't seen one Ferris wheel. Report what to Sheriff Paraday? Can you hear yourself describing what you saw, what you thought you saw? Tony, we need this carnival. See it's what how keeps great the tourists that coming here all year round. Carnival. Town needs it. I this know woman is that. stealing the scene. Well, then let's just hold our fire until the carnival is over. I agree with you. I want a <laughs> running tally of how many times this woman says carnival in this movie. Carnival. 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 What do you tell Jennifer's parents? Tony, I... Nothing. Not Don't tell them anything. Let the... Just let them just... Lose it. It's fine. You know what I think? I think it was an avalanche. Body yeah, too an avalanche that no one heard. Have you ever heard an avalanche? It sounds like a thunderstorm made of sledgehammers. 
<laughs> I certainly don't have to worry about you, Tony. Do I? Well, After no, all, Grandma. You are my grandson. Yeah, no, we was that was Grandmother, I'm forty. Please leave <laughs> me alone. They might as well have done the whole conversation as Grandma, yes, grandson. Yeah, that was quite the exposition dump, wasn't it? Oh, all right. Car, Ellen. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to keep running a crisis. Well, you two look great! I clearly avoided you, but it's fine. Does he uh, still wear his gold medals to bed? <laughs> yep, scared. You called it. Listen, I'm still running. He's full of Let's himself. Let's get together, have a drink later on, and uh, confess everything. Uh I've forgotten how beautiful you are. You know I'm standing dude. right here, right? Yeah, what the f what the you hell, dude? Like. I'm the Make famous job, skier. You work at a ski lodge. Not anymore, you don't. I don't like that man. I don't I don't like that man. <laughs> what a jerk. I mean, you could have at least called him out. You don't have to punch him, but dude, call him out. Mr. Real, I heard you didn't find the girl. You want me to go Where over there? Where have you been? With Heidi? Yeah. How is she? Hey, your grandmother had the doctor give her something. Put her out for a while. She was in pretty bad shock. Look, Mr. Real, I'm supposed to have the rest of the day off. But I got a pretty good idea where the girl is up there on that mountain. If it's all right with you, I'd like to take a couple of really weird pause. Up there, look around, see what I can find. No, and that's an order. Mask, why? Because I don't want anybody up there. I want the area posted. You get a hold of Ben Cochran and maintenance, you tell them to get ready to put a lot of signs up there. Yes, sir. Saying what? Is what? this the military? What? Beer three. You want the signs to read? Oh, yeah. Restricted area. Just restricted area. In my experience, that's not going to stop anyone. Yeah, that's because up at ski resorts, it's literally impossible to stop people from doing things. Yeah. They literally don't have the people watching where they should be watching at all times. Nope. So I don't know if this is like common common knowledge or whatever, um, but in Colorado, there are little smoke huts built up in the, ski, in the ski resorts where locals build these little huts and hide... Um, smoking utensils and, and stashes and stuff like that up there. Right, so that it's always accessible to the people in the know. And Do you so know what restricted just... zone means? It means untouched powder. Right. That's what it means. Yeah. He's not even looking for the girl. He's just good. There are a lot of skiing shots. Like, okay, we get it. Yeah. It's a skiing movie. Oh, if only I'd gone on the area where there weren't trees. <laughs> this yep, hat no is amazing. Wow, those are some, like, skinny jeans. I'm telling you, man. Tight pants. There really are a lot of skiing shots in this. There really are. I feel like I'm watching an episode of ESPN. The Ocho. Dude, we, we, we get it. He's skiing. Like, <laughs> come on, man. And then he skied here. And then he skied there. <laughs> Followed by more skiing. More skiing. skiing. <laughs> well, we rented the equipment for a day. We got to use it. This is like a what this is, is like a two and a half minute sequence of him skiing. <laughs> well, we gotta fill out time.
gets back to the lodge. No, I looked at every tree. There was no sign of her. Dog. <laughs> there <laughs> No, the guy that skis every day as a profession fell over. It's like you should have been wearing a helmet, you dunce. <laughs> as somebody who traverses this mountain on a daily basis, wouldn't he know that that was there? He's off the beaten path, okay? Isn't that like the definition of ski patrol, though? That's like the most calmest little hill that he's hanging <laughs> on. Oh, no! It just fades to red. <laughs> commercial! That was a commercial break. You're right exactly there. right. That's exactly what that was. That was a commercial was. break. Still better than the way no escape room did it. Oh, this snow beast is getting brave. He's getting closer and closer to people. Oh, not the kid. The kid's just going to see him and he's going to be like, Mommy, I saw a big John, white giant dog. It's not an answer, John. He asked you a question. Yeah, he did just kind of wave him off. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, he might as well have just been like... <laughs> Lot of FOV shots. My favorite part POV. about these terrible horror what movies is when the characters FOV? when the characters just get a bad feeling for no reason at yeah. all. Hmm. What's the matter? Mm, that cloud wasn't there five What's seconds ago. Come on, say it. Speak up. Say it. Inside. There's a dead the body. The water drop. The water drop. You mean the snow, John? Is that what he said? He said the water drop? That's what he said, the water drop. Is this thing gonna eat this kid? God, I hope so. God, if, if they let a child get eaten on a made-for-TV movie, <laughs> I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> Oh. oh, there's Jennifer. If this wasn't made for TV, she would have been naked. So what did that kid say? Did he really I heard he really say the, the water, water drop? drop. That's what I heard Tony. him say. I heard him say the water drop. Sheriff, I want to talk to you. Sure. Okay, hold on. Be right there. Sheriff. You stay right there. We're going to burn $9 of gasoline to get over to you real quick. <laughs> It only cost 10 cents a gallon back now. <laughs> Unit two, go ahead. Sheriff, some ski patroller wants to talk to you. Yeah, what oh. about? Sheriff's a popular guy. Murder. What? A hell of a set of mutton Where? chops on that fella. Out at the old Fairchild place. I'm on my way. To be fair, if I could yeah, grow facial way. hair, I would grow mutton chops. I bet you would. They'd be coming out of that newsboy cap, all furry. <laughs> you look like you belong in the band Flogging Molly. Sorry I'm late. Well, but I don't take that as an insult. I love Flogging Molly. Your grandmother decided that a living legend is just what this place needs. Hmm. It's a weird angle. Uh, may I have some coffee, please? Oh, with the weird slow push in, too. Yes, thank you, Mr. Real. Tea. Look, you can see the camera guy fumbling with the zoom and stuff, what too. Tell me. Oh, the pressures. Comes <laughs> with, uh. Inheriting all this. Mm -hmm. I must tell you, I'm very impressed. You really built this into something. Why, well, thank you. Yeah, you sound thank impressed. Thank you for giving Gar a job. Yeah, that's all in our favor. 
Oh, this Wait, is dude's wife? Is that yeah. who that is? Yeah, this is dude's wife, and she's going getting lunch with this guy. Well, I only get two weeks off Are they here, you know, and friends? On a warm climate. Hmm. I don't think so, buddy. Former lovers? I was afraid of seeing you again. Uh-huh. Everything we had. What did you think would happen? I don't know. I've been well, you are a sleaze bag, so... Fantasies about me? Tell me, do you still comb your Not chest hair? Bad. A friend of mine, a doctor, said that uh, when a woman starts having fantasies about the man she didn't marry, she's not getting enough realities from the man she did. Oh, my. Hmm. Oh, heavens. I think your friend is talking to you about sexual realities, and you're not. Reality is the problem. You know, Tony, if I were an archaeologist or something, it wouldn't be so bad. Didn't the guy at the beginning of this movie complain that she wasn't engaging him enough? And now it, she's it, with it, some it, other guy he going, didn't say we don't it, but sleep he, each, with each other enough. He definitely implied it. He definitely implied it. How long has he been like that? Do you know that he hasn't been up on his ski since he won the gold medals? So what? That's incredible. Is well, it? Maybe coming up here will change all that. Not his fault entirely. 25% of the world watched him win those medals. The president called him. He was on magazine covers. He did television commercials. Mm -hmm. He was a hero for an instant. A hero? And whatever it takes to go back to being an ordinary mortal, Carr doesn't have it. I've thought about that before. You attain this big thing that you've worked your whole life for. You get it, and then you're like, uh... What do I do now? <laughs> It'd be so much easier. You know, marriage can survive a lot of things. I think we can ask Usain Bolt about that, and I think he'd say, well, you just go get another gold medal. Yeah. Then I got on the Wheaties box. <laughs> I met the president, but he never got the cereal box! Wait a minute. You know what you need? You need to have someone say he loves you. Oh, my. Oh, man. And I do, you know. I always have. <sighs> These are both terrible people. Yeah, there he is. He's like, See I it. knew it. See it. Call him out. A simple, hey, dude, not cool <laughs> would be better than what he's doing. Here we go. Excuse me, I have to take my onesie and walk over here. <laughs> it is a onesie. He looks like the Venture Brother guy that, that spends guy. all of his time with the Yeti that's based off the $10 million man or whatever it is. He's dressed exactly like that. To crown Queen Betty jo. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The one who has relationships with Sasquatch. Are you still a good marksman? You mean on the rifle range? No, not necessarily. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, okay, stupid. I you, you <laughs> I'm definitely going to bleep that. You serious, aren't you? Mm hmm. Not even Ellen? <laughs> I don't think you should, but well, whatever. Because <laughs> she's a news person. Okay. Tony. What, Grandma? <laughs> Meet me in an hour at the swimming pool, okay? okay? He just starts yelling at her like he's Biff from Back to the Future. <laughs> you better take the boy home now, Mr. Cochran. I appreciate your help. I hate this guy's voice. <laughs> Is it Sheriff? It's so terrible. <laughs> oh. Why is he carrying him? Did something happen that we didn't see? Does he need a nap? Like, what happened to that kid? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm the sheriff. I did this with my Elvis <laughs> Presley impersonation career. <laughs> 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 mm, that's a big mountain. Something that's troubling you, Tony. Why don't you tell me what it is? 
You remember? Well, you asked story. me to get nude before we got in here, and that was a little troubling. Um, then once I did, you what? did nothing but stare at me. What is with his werewolf hair? Like this dude has like some serious werewolf, and this guy is far too chummy with the guy hitting on his wife. But you know, they say that there are hundreds of them roaming around all over the country. Who says? Lots of people. Hell, the airline on that guy though. A little jealous of that guy. Not, not him. So she traveled all over the country. That guy. Look at that hairline. He looks like the son from the Munsters. <laughs> is that what your crisis is all about? Well, I saw something, Gar. It was monstrous. Monstrous. And it wasn't an animal. And it wasn't human no. either. No. Why would it be? <laughs> and now you find that you're too rational and too realistic to allow yourself to believe it was something else. Is that it? Uh, well, I do live in the real world. <laughs> and that's why you hired me to go out and blow its brains out, right? Talk With no that. indication of whether or not he's a good marksman. Makes sense. No, 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 he is. He's he's like an Olympic guy. And those Olympic guys have those rifle moment things. You remember that old school like sport where people would carry rifles and they'd ski down mountains. Oh, that's not old school. That, that's and still they'd a shoot thing. stuff. I know is it? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're What is that about. called? And then it's all right to go out and kill it in cold blood, right? Ski rifling? And how do you know Ski rifling? Ski fling? in contact with one says exactly the same thing. It stares at you for a few seconds. And then it disappears again into the wilderness. Except when it feels like carrying off a young girl. That story turned out to be a hoax. I'm not talking about that story. I'm talking about one of our guests. I found her jacket the other day. Don't you like get it? I'm losing my mind up day, here. I believe that thing killed her. My God, that's a fantastic road. Onesies for everyone. Have you seen my husband? No, Ellen, I haven't. Well, I got sick of you flirting with other men. <laughs> Jimmy, are you looking for me? No, the Sheriff Paraday needs to see Tony right away. You have any idea where he might be? Hell of a mustache. No, I haven't. Hell of a mustache. Well, Ellen, it seems as if both our men are missing. You know what? Good for Something him. wrong? Nothing you want to hear about. And look, I gotta get I miss the days when the size of a man's mustache directly, directly correlated with how much of a man he was. And God, am I glad it doesn't anymore. Get these little, these little bristles. I, 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 it looks like my upper lip could, like, clean off a barbecue grill. That's what this was meant for. Pathetic. What? <laughs> it said pathetic. <laughs> Oh, good. More skiing B-roll. Yeah. I said that snow looks terrible. It looks like it's been chopped to hell. Yeah. Have you noticed Weird that all, all of these characters have managed to find areas of the mountain that nobody else is skiing on? <laughs> yeah, the reality is there's 40 other people around you at all oh, times. Minimum. Minimum. Sheriff, I went out to the real lodge. They don't know where Tony is. I talked to Mrs. Real. Told her as soon as he shows up, send him out here right Tony's away. Tony's the guy that fell off the mountain and got attacked and it faded to red, probably, right? That's right. Yep. Yep, that's right. She's like, oh my. I've a discovered a cabin. secret cabin. She's <laughs> like, what is this cabin? I'm sorry, are those door guards? Oh my. The world's worst fake monster footprints. Oh no! Well, I guess I'll just ski the flat area over here. I guess I'll just follow the tracks. 
Best case scenario, it leads to a bear den. Yup, still snow. Well, now, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna go over here and just stare into the distance. Why did it commercial fade break. to red? Commercial oh, break. Every, every time. Yeah. Okay. Commercial break. The sheriff reminds me, do you remember the trucker from South Park that hits on Miss Crabtree and tries to roofie her? Yeah. That's who the sheriff reminds me of. <laughs> uh, that's a deep cut right there. Yeah, it's a deep cut. I watch way too much South Park. This movie is like 30% ski shots and snowmobile shots. It's, uh... Tony, I thought I saw something up there. Where? What? Your engine's too loud. Come on, we gotta get to the barn. Those trees look of trees. <laughs> Pizza slice, french fries. Pizza slice, french fries. <laughs> Here's my issue with her going through the woods. She's not looking for anyone. <laughs> oh, I guess she is following these traps. Yeah, she's following the, the, the Wookiee traps. They're Tauntaun tracks. It's like, oh my, I just realized I have no goddamn idea where I am. You know what they always say, when you don't know where you're going, double down. <laughs> Tally ho! You know, oh, when in Monstroid, what it was is it was constant weird helicopter shots. And then this is just constant snowboard, earth, ski, and snowmobile b-roll yeah but in this i can almost let it go because it's like you got to fill a time frame monstroid it was like monstroid <laughs> open your mouth enunciate i was hoping you could help me identify i must have seen her somewhere maybe i'll recognize her when i see her face oh there ain't much to recognize now son she doesn't have one no face. This guy has the, that sheriff has the voice of an NPR DJ. <laughs> In Tennessee. In Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Who only gets to report on Dollywood. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, why would you take away the quickest mode of transportation you have while following Big Paws? Dear God, why would you show us this? Okay, why is the sheriff bringing in civilians? What do you think, Tony? Because he needs somebody to ID the body. Is that her? That's her. What do you base that on? color of her suit. Well, how would you know the color of her clothes? It well, I don't really want to talk about that. You found the jacket? Where? Oh, On the North the Slope. Wore. We were looking for her up there yesterday. Her friend thought she might have had an accident. So the patrollers told me, but they didn't say anything about a jacket. We spread out oh, in different directions. Oh, 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 oh. But you came together again. That's right. So why did what, did this guy take a Benadryl before they started what? shooting? Like, Jesus Christ, it? man. He does have the, uh... Where I found it. Show him again. Show his face. As a marker. Come on. Ah. I feel like he does have the, the drunk red nose. Me about? <sighs> yeah. That's right. I just need a quick you nip before we get recording here, boys. We're <laughs> And what about this stuff uh, Heidi told the patrol about a monster? <laughs> Heidi only saw the footprints. 
<laughs> it's so bad. I saw the thing itself. He has such right, an important you... role, too. He's such an important point for the plot that he can't get around it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, I found him. Clint Walker. He looks like a Clint. He was Nick Nitro in Small Soldiers. Nick Nitro! You know the guy was with the... Was he really? According to IMDb. Oh, wow, dude. I can hear that, actually. Nick Nitro! Yeah. Well, I can certainly understand your grandmother not <laughs> wanting any of this to get out. He just you know, sounds like he's really doing right. a sh Elvis impression. Winter attacks are not all that rare, you know. Cole, it's not a grizzly. What do you think it is? Gar thinks it's one of those... Bat Squatch. <laughs> called Bigfoot. That's right. Called Bigfoot. Like, they have the to introduce the idea of Bigfoot, Bigfoot because it's 1977. Northwest. Not necessarily, Sheriff. Ellen tells me that... Is this movie uh, what the Venture uh, Brothers creators saw? And they were like, $10 million man, or million dollar man, I can't remember what his name is. Mixed with this guy. a TV journalist. <laughs> and a while back, she did a special on the Bigfoot controversy. Did they settle in the... Controversy. Case? Nah, not what... It's not how you say conspiracy, but that's okay. Evidence. But she did run across a couple of interesting points. She went up to Washington State and met with an anthropologist. He showed her... Oh, I think she said 150 photographs. 150 photographs of Bigfoot. So-called Bigfoots. Bigfoots. If ah, you want to know big more about it, the term is big feet. Yes. <laughs> Anyone who's watched Invader Zim knows that. I really should have kept going downhill. Why, oh, why did I decide to follow random steps in the snow? The thing that kills me is she has poles. Yeah. She's not on a snowboard. Just, eh. She's walking upwards, okay? Whatever did that to that girl? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It was far more exciting than I could ever be. I'm gonna die on a toilet. Man, I've got a Elvis Thurman good thing going on. I got about 60 pounds of that's backed up in my like intestines. Oh, 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 oh. My butt <laughs> is tighter than a tootsie now, roll. Thank you. Tomorrow morning. Editing this is gonna be a nightmare. Unless we say something <laughs> horribly <laughs> offensive, <laughs> I say screw it, leave it in. <laughs> we just lost Mr. Seberg. No, you didn't, sure. Guy has a hell of a hairstyle there. Whatever did that to that girl in there? It's like a front comb over. Fine. Okay. Fine. The guy's we'll just... got a very black parade esque hairstyle with the <laughs> sheriff. Oh, 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 I wanna die. Oh, oh, oh. So you're telling me she heard those growls and this girl is still looking for whatever made those paw prints and those sounds. I think she's just lost at this point. I think you can just consider it lost. You know what? Good. <laughs> okay, so I need you to wreck, but like try to make it look as fake as possible. I don't know how to read terrain. I'm gonna say it right now, if you go backcountry skiing on your own, your fault. Yep. Your fault. Eh. Eh. 
I can't tell if it's the middle of the night or the middle of the day. What is this? Cut to school. <laughs> what, the <f> what <laughs> is this? Dude, oh, context. This is the winter. This is the winter carnival throne. <laughs> what ski resort have you ever? There, you and I. There, you and I have been to a few different ski resorts. Yeah. Which one did you see a high school at? I'm sure there's a school at Breckenridge somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. You think so? Probably a lot of stables for all the high horse. <laughs> Because Breckenridge is full of terrible people. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. No, you're, you're, you're not wrong. Even the, even the locals would agree with you on that one. Ah, uh, all right. Beer number four. I'm not far behind you. But I think I'm... So be a beer five for me. Five? I had one before we... Okay, now I've lost count, so that's not a good sign. I'm pretty sure we're both on four. The last one was three. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Whatever. <laughs> Just <laughs> start at the amount that the beer case came with and work backwards. There's three cans here. I had one before I started stacking them over here, so I feel like I'm about to open my fifth, but I could be one. Joe smiles. Oh, there it was! <laughs> Actually, that suit looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. This is like a hyper... Run it over! What are you doing honking your horn at it? I just... This is such a weird jump. <laughs> Cut. All of the band stopped at the exact same moment. Guard. Are you alright? Guard, guard, did you see it? Did you see it? No, I wasn't anywhere near you when you saw it through that one window. Oh no, the old lady fell down. Oh. Oh, I've hurt ankle, wrist, and neck. Oh no, no not the, the TPR. <laughs> And what I want to say with this shot is the... Oh no, what happened? Oh, oh the that's woman the lady. The... Yeah. The... Right. Commercial break! Commercial break! That was just such a weird jump. We went from the middle of the day of this woman going down the hill to nighttime at a high school. It was a dance for the winter carnival. Gar, please tell Tony I'm sorry. He was right. I shouldn't Gar? have reported. But we had to have our winter car. It was a cigar. I guarantee you. This old woman is so obsessed with this winter carnival. Now you take care of yourself, all right? And then I'll take care of this one. Take care. Don't you worry, Nana. We're going to get you the help you need. Winter carnival. Winter carnival. Winter. Carnival, carnival, winter. This is exactly how my grandfather ended up in a nursing home. That was the puniest siren I've ever heard in my life. Oh, whoops. I spilled beer on my couch. Spilled it on my pants earlier. No, I'm having flashbacks of that time I won gold at the Olympics. <laughs> what a horrible memory. <laughs> ah, 
crusted butt. Crusty butt. Nothing quite like crusty butt at night, huh? You know, I've gone night snowboarding and it's the most terrifying experience. It was terrifying. Click. Click. I can't go back there. Where the hell is my wife? <laughs> Probably with that monster's haired bastard. I win! Perhaps you couldn't see because you were wearing sunglasses at night, you <laughs> dolt. Okay, that is my new favorite insult. Dolt. You never heard that before? No, it used to be <laughs> daft something that I can't say on YouTube, but dolt is my new favorite one. Oh good, more skiing footage. We get it, they can ski. It's all on the most used, choppy, worst snow imaginable too. Yep. To be fair, this time, everyone would have ridden it. That's true. But, dumb. Still sort of dumb. God, it feels good to be a master of my craft. Top of the game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you go, uh, although is this him now? This isn't a flash. I don't think this is a flashback I don't know anymore. what this is, to be honest. I don't think this is a flashback. You know, it's really funny. You complained about the lapse of time in a Nightmare Alley, and uh, all we've done is transition to a movie that does it worse. <laughs> I wonder what the budget compared to Nightmare Alley is on this. It's probably had the budget of like Lower. four hundred thousand dollars. Lower, yeah. It's like my uncle runs crusty butt up in Colorado. Why did she fall asleep in a barn? She's lost. That's a cool shot. There was bound to be one. I was so terrified. Oh, thank God. I thought you were a cow. I'm so glad it's you based on the condition that you're my husband and later I shall sleep with someone else. I was gonna say, he's probably thinking, I'm so glad I found you by yourself. Yeah. I'm proud of you. You weren't Sorry, five minutes ago. Well, we both kind of let that happen. I should have been there when you needed me all these years. I was happier when you were winning. You finally were. I was? Sure. If you hadn't gotten lost, I would never have had good enough reason to get back on my skis again. Oh. Right, there was like a big deal. That was what the whole thing with that B-roll section was. Yeah, because was we a, did. It was a big deal for him to get back on the skis because he hadn't been on since he won gold and blah, right. blah, blah, and, blah, and, blah, And because they blah, let blah. us know that he was looking for her because and I, saw myself instead of I guess that was just now. inferred. Yeah. I was falling now, completely out of control. It's like, I know. But once I got I'll skiing, wait till complete darkness, then I'll go It was great. It. <laughs> It was really great, Ellen. I should have told you a long time ago why I never skied after 68. I think it's because I saw too many champions become has-beens. I didn't want to be a has-been. I wanted to be Sean White. So I figured. Never by seen not the movie Vertigo? Anymore, Does that mean anything to you? I'd stay on top. But I didn't. No. No, that's I how aging works. I had what the kids works. might call a fall off. They don't. 
I've been such a fool, Ellen. Oh, not a fool, my love. We're all afraid of failing. No. But he didn't fail. He won gold. And then just didn't do it again. It's literally number one. I'm telling you, this dude just regrets not getting the Wheaties sponsorship. That's what this is. I thought you'd never ask. It was cereal box or milk carton, and he got neither of them. So she's like all of a sudden back in love with him. Yeah. I had a near-death experience, and I realized how much I didn't love you before, but now I do. That beast reminded me of your big man hands. Quickly, rub our snow snoots together. Snoot snoot. Snoot snoot. <laughs> this is Bud, Sheriff. We've checked the north slope for Mr. and Mrs. Seaberg. No sign of anyone or anything in this area. Wait, what? They're looking for him via helicopter. Oh, they're Mr. and Mrs. Seaberg. Okay. Yeah, they're married. I just, they never said Seaberg, so. Oh no, POV Yeti is back. His name is Pavetti. Pavetti. Doing it in the rough, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That was the worst. <laughs> Did you say something? <laughs> I thought he was listening to it. I'm dead to the world over here, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep, damn it. Do we have to? Come on. Okay, if my if I woke up in hay, my first reaction would not be, do we have to leave? You sure you want to go home? Okay. Yeah, my first reaction would be, we're in our mid-30s. Damn, does my back hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I just that POV shot just had me imagining him just running face first into that door. Come on. My depth perception. Don't they have ski poles with pointy ends? Here comes the snowmobile crew to save the day. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say Detective Barnacle? <laughs> what is this, SpongeBob? Up there on the hill. Well, no, it's gone, but I saw it. I, I'm, I swear. We're gonna have to go back over the bridge and turn around to get over there. I haven't had my coffee, so I'm not very excited. <laughs> God. Tony! Oh, Tony! Wow, she sure did forget about her husband real quick, huh? Yeah, she sure did. Sheriff is definitely up to right now. Thank God I'm wearing this onesie. Thank God I toned my ass before I got into this onesie. Commercial break! Commercial break! break. Campbell's Soup. I'm, t I'm calling it now, this is a Campbell's Soup commercial. I just assumed the 70s was just one Campbell's Soup commercial after another. Basically. And and whatever Johnson & Johnson was selling at the time. For being such a crappy TV movie, there's some pretty good shots in here. So, we have gathered to pay our last respects. We pray this will be a time of strength for Mr. I don't think anybody gets buried at Crested Butte. 
Let us all pause for a crusty moment. butt. Reflection. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Crusty butt. My bad. My bad. This man had zero family, so, as tradition, we shall bury him on the mountaintop. With his skis and poles, who are his only companion in death. If his co-workers would like to say something about him, now would be the moment. Ready? Aim. Uh, Jerry sure did like decaf. Okay. That was it? <laughs> that was it for the 35-gun salute. Not a military funeral. Not seven soldiers shooting five times. Poor grandma. We're like a family here, Krusty Butt. <laughs> my carnival! <laughs> oh, my carnival! Hey, I told the sheriff I was going to catch up with him. Uh, guess you two better get some sleep, huh? No. I'll go with you. <laughs> no, we still fine on the hay. Sure. If I'm asleep when you come in, wake me up. We got it! Who is she sheriff talking to? Shot it right between the eyes. I don't know. We're bringing it in. Right between the eyes? We didn't get to see it? Because well, it wasn't it. Hi ho, Silver. No, no. <laughs> no. The uh, actors are very monochromatic in this movie. Gee, whatever do you mean? <laughs> I mean. Like, super monochromatic. Now, now, fellow white people, calm down. Tom, that's not what I saw. My name is Randy, you jackass. The thing I saw looked more like a Gandalf. I kind of wish I'd been to Krusty Butt just to see how different it looks in this movie compared to what it looks like now. Uh, not this. Have you been sort there? Sort of similar, yeah. Sort of similar, though. Only thing is the lunch. Okay. You mind if I ask you a... No, look at my Let me ask for... you a question. Do you like bacon? There's a friend? Because I had them cook up about six pounds of bacon. I'm wearing my Lou Ferrigno shoes. Did you know you were killing the wrong thing? Lou Ferrigno wears platforms. All I know for sure, Mr. Seberg, is that <laughs> something came charging out of that brush at me, <laughs> and it wasn't human. I'm so utter utterly familiar with what you're talking about. It f hurts my brain a little bit. The best way to find out is to... Quick recap, we saw Lou Ferrigno at Comic-Con wearing platform <laughs> shoes. The people in this town are in danger. Don't you think it's your responsibility to warn them? 100% true. That is 100% true, allegedly. <laughs> no, no. We saw it. I'm warn the people against. Allegedly. Legend whose very existence is hotly disputed. I will say he is quite a short fellow. Yeah, he maybe comes up to Brett's shoulder, and that really says something, because Brett's, yeah, not, a, Brett's not a big guy. Nothing they've seen or heard that would stand up under scientific scrutiny, unquote. Now, is that what so is he explaining right now, like, why the bear is what's actually been terrorizing the I town? I don't know. I was picking on Lou Ferrigno. one thing. But a legend is... Uh, well, just that, a legend. Bigfoot has been sighted in the northwest for what? the last hundred years. I can't hear you over all the footsteps. There are verified recordings of attacks. Mm -hmm. I had a man on my television show just recently who swears he threw a rock at one and it ran away. That's all I can focus I on now. Listen to that. <laughs> it's because they didn't ADR this part. There's enough happenings around here. All it takes is one person who does. Oh, thank God they're the standing bear. still. <laughs> You'll have a stampede on your hands. That's just the point. I don't want these hills full of people shooting at each other. Mm. Now, you don't believe it was that bear, do you? That bear, no, do you? No, I'm no, so yeah. drunk. Was it a bear? I don't think it was. I don't know. A mutant of some kind. Let me ask Something you, have you ever done opium? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it is, it's still out there. 
And it's a killer. What do you suggest we do? What you told my husband we should do in the first place. But this Enunciate. Is really do it. What? Kill it? And you can count on me, Sharon. What you're saying is you uh, want us to go up there, just the two of us, and destroy this thing. That's right. Just the three of us. Wow. Well, just the three yeah. of us? How are you going to help? Shoot it. Skin it. Whatever. You got lost. <laughs> Not to be a here, but how is right. she going to help in this situation? Now, keep in mind, this is the climax of the movie. The thing we're about to see is the climax of this film. We've got 18 and a half minutes left. This is act three. Oh, look, scenery shots. <laughs> Like, really, the only way this movie exists is because a bunch of people wanted to spend the summer or the winter skiing. That's all this is. Oh, look! It's so cold. Oh, my God, it's so cold. God, what a boss. Oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho. Yeah, what was that? Tree, 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 tree. Snowmobiling. You know, I'm just not realizing this movie is like, not a lot has happened. No. In over an hour. No, no, not a lot. Of, uh, two people have been killed. One body has been found. Um, they have no reason to believe it's a beast other than one person's account. That thing did it. Oh, yeah, I think that thing must have done it. <laughs> Worst sheriff ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, oh, oh. no deductive reasoning whatsoever in his analysis. Elvis doesn't even sing that song, does he? Oh, 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 oh. Is that George Thurgood? The is that ACDC. who that is? ACDC. Oh, no. No, you're right. It is George Thurgood. <laughs> it is George Thurgood. It is George Thurgood. Okay. You're right. <laughs> We're old. <laughs> yeah. I literally only know George Thurgood because of public radio, which is also an old thing to say. There was a moment in time where I was really into like classic rock, like George Thurgood and ACDC. And I love classic rock. Pink I Floyd, have like never all that kind of stuff. George Thurgood. And don't you dare put Pink Floyd in the same category as George Thurgood. It's all classic rock, man. I'm done. Quick, run away! The beast hates campers! Or maybe he loves campers and he's about to hotwire this one. He really just wants to get off this mountain. He doesn't like the cold at all. <laughs> it's like, my name is Snow Beast, but I really just want an eternal summer. He's the Mexican hairless cat version of Sasquatch. I don't have any fur. I wasn't meant for this. Oh, 
I hate this ladder! God, I hate this ladder! <laughs> what was that? Why is that in there? Because, you know, he just destroyed their only mode of transportation other than combustion engines. See, here's the problem I have. This looks like a POV shot, but he's at the camper. Maybe he's done with the camper and he's, like, tracking the snowmobiles. So he transported? Yeah, time means nothing. Of course, because the Sasquatch is an interdimensional being. That would explain so much. <laughs> it that's like would. That's like it the answer to would. everything. Maybe we ought to move camp. No, we're going to stay right here. Settle down and wait. Ah. See, they're right next to the camper. I'm going to get him like a tar. We're going to set up a fire. And I'm going to woo this. All four of us need to pile into this camper. It'll be easier to fit in if we all take our clothes off. Didn't I? You did. Look, you two go first. This guy's kind of a creep. Tony? They're all creeps. All three men are creepy, and this woman seems very unfaithful. (laughs) This poor woman is just stuck on this mountain with these three idiots. The only victim in this movie is Sasquatch. (laughs) And our time. Bluer, you know. What a your eyes. Ugh. I hate this man. <laughs> oh you I hate this man so much. Me around for a long time. Yeah. Why did you decide against me? I didn't decide against you, Tony. That was a lot of fabric bar. noise. I loved you both, you know. But he wow, 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 wow. I didn't I didn't decide against you, Tony. It's like but there's it's a okay, lav huh? mic right underneath her shirt. You it's just, just answered an eight-year-old question. Friends? No, nope. Friend. he doesn't want to be friends Only. with you. Friends, huh? If my wife did that with one of her friends, <laughs> I'd be a very, very angry person. <laughs> I'd be very, very angry. And he has a gun in his hand. You should go see what's going on in the camper. (laughs) Sounds great. He's far more trusting than he should be. Yeah, especially after seeing the way that man acts around his (laughs) wife. He saw that (laughs) firsthand. Think as a mountain. <laughs> Do you know how many commercial breaks there would be if this was made in this day and age? Yeah. Four times the amount that are mm. in here. Easily. Good morning. Good morning. Good this morning. This is clearly the exact Good same morning. moment as before. No. They just cut some. T- <laughs> no. You're so wrong. The light is exactly the same. Look, he kicked. This is the part from the trailer where he kicks over the logs. So much time to move. (laughs) So much time to move. This is exactly like that moment in Oblivion where you can knock over all the logs at the very beginning with the trolls. Cole! 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 Are you hurt? Oh no, the extremely slow moving logs killed Cole. Tony! Tony! I didn't know his name was Cole. I thought it was Sheriff Paraday. Oh no, Elvis is dead again! Oh, he's not dead! He's just trapped! Now he's dead. (laughs) Oh, commercial break! Well, at least he didn't die on the pooper this time. So far, the worst part about this is that there are no kills on screen. They all happen at commercial breaks. There can't be! 
There can't be kills on screen. It's the Made 70s. for TV. Yeah. We're talking about a, t a day and age where it was weird for Captain Kirk to kiss Ohura. That's true. It's not chasing us anymore. It got what it wants. What did it, what did it want? No the sheriff? Blood. It wanted that blood. That wasn't mindless. That was a planned counterattack. We're not going to get very far walking. The barn's down here. Let's head for it. My hair should keep us warm. That's not a very good idea. <laughs> Why not? Because that's where he's been stashing his food. Can you imagine How do you know that? Shows up? Now, it's already lost two from there. If he's as smart as you think he is, he won't come back to the barn again. Let's go. He's not as smart as you think he is. Man, I cannot get over how kick-ass that guy's snowsuit is. The blue and yellow one? Yeah. Why does it remind me of Uniracers? Do you remember Uniracers from the no. Super Nintendo? I it was a unicycle is. racing game. <laughs> no, I have was, no idea what that is. Oh, it was so much fun. And here we have the beautiful snowberries. Seriously, David Attenborough should have narrated this movie. He was only 30 back then. Back now. Because he's really old. Because he's very old. I'm, gonna, go? I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be a little upset when David Attenborough dies. Three yeah. Back up at that camper. Why don't you stay with Ellen? There's no sense in all of us risking our lives. Hold on. We decided we would stay together until this thing was over. Yeah. Remember? Number five. His gloves are yellow, too. I don't know why that amuses me. Look. His turtleneck. Let's talk about the turtleneck. <laughs> turtle. Turtle. Am I not turtly enough for you? Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Wow, that scene we ran away from without helping our friend sure does look horrific. Dude, so many of these people are all about abandoning the people that are closest to them. <laughs> Self-preservation seems to be the theme of this movie. How was the point of them going to the cabin? They went to the cabin and turned right back around and went back. But the extra rifles were inside, weren't they? Well, they're looking for it now. Yeah. Okay, now if I pull the logs out, will you? I go in and get them? It's not a cabin. It's We're gonna barely pull in the RV. logs out. What There's is that gonna solve? Do you see how big those are? There's no way those are real. Look at the size of those things. You don't lift one of those by yourself. <laughs> Ellen, can you see the rifles? No. Where can you find anything? There's blood everywhere. Please see. let me get out of oh, here. Okay. There should be a service revolver in the cab. Thank God. <laughs> Broke out the window. Ellen? Skis. Look at the closet. The rivals may be there. Alright. Is the sheriff just gone? Did the thing eat him? I think he took him as a mate. Tony! Look! It's like that scene with a <laughs> without a paddle. From without a paddle. I love that movie. Gar, finish him! Yeah, yeah. Toss around a loaded weapon. That that seems like a responsible thing to do. Get the 
Miles Allen and the other skis. Okay. Don't worry, he has rifling experience. <laughs> Good at guns. <laughs> Gunning is my specialty. Ow, <laughs> jackass. <laughs> you right there, bud? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You uh, just out for a rip there, bud? I'm just out just for a rip there, rip? you know? Well, we're not doing anything, so I figured it'd be a good eye time. I'm from the Great White North. It's impossible to look cool on Are skis. those bell bottoms? Oh yeah. my god, those are bell bottoms. He has bell bottoms on his ski suit. It's impossible to not buy bell bottoms at this moment in time. God, bring those back. Bring bell bottoms back. I want Hard a ski disagree. Suit. Hard disagree. I want to. I want a ski suit with bell bottoms. This guy's like, if I meet a four hundred pound monster, I'm ready with my tiny little service revolver. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> say i have had much more to drink than i thought i would i've had exactly as much to drink as i thought i would this is the climax the final three minutes of this movie what could possibly happen in the next three minutes that well <laughs> they're either gonna watching this for an hour and a half they're either gonna kill sasquatch Right. Which I think is unfortunate. Um, or Sasquatch is going to kill them. But... I don't see that happening. No. No, I think they kill Sasquatch. The gentlest of creatures. What is this shot? What is this? He's stalking! He's stalking! Really, 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 really slowly. Yes. <laughs> He's been so ferocious up until now. <laughs> it's an Ewok. It's an Ewok. <gasps> oh, poor Sasquatch gets the chip. Is it crying? It looks like it's crying. Like, why did you shoot me, you jerk? Why did you just run into it? Take that, you bastard. <laughs> and now we'll cut off its feet and make lanterns. Show it. Your Show feet shall make the perfect... Perfect umbrella stand. Show the whole thing. Come on. Show it. You haven't showed it the whole movie. Show it to us. Show it. Heroic shot. Man and wife happy again. And all it took was five beers to get through. This is more about us. Yeah. And that's the end of that chapter. That's the end? <laughs> that's the... Dude, no, are you kidding me? We don't get a... Hey, we report back to Grandma. We don't get a final carnival scene. We... Oh, oh. oh that's frustrating. Oh, that that's is frustrating. really frustrating, isn't That it? is so frustrating. It's just left up to your imagination. What happened next? What do you think? What happened next? Of course it was shot on Panavision. Tell me what your thoughts are after that. What happened directly after that? Because it's up to our interpretation. That is Okay, that is the quickest credits 
scene yeah. or credits roll I've ever seen in my life. Well, to be fair, nine people made this, so <laughs> six of them were on camera. So that was Snow Beast from oh 1977. God. What an unsatisfying ending. Yeah. You know, I think what could have made that movie a little bit better is if there had actually been kills. And I know this is a made for TV movie in 1977, but it's um, I feel like it would have been a lot more fun had we actually seen some on screen kills. You know, I drank initially because you told me to. I'm now drinking for the disappointment of whatever the hell that ending was because he dies. We know he's going to die, but we get no closure. There was no closure. Yeah, that's true. Just, I mean, he's dead. He's dead, which does, we knew was going to happen. It does kind of feel like they were just like, well, we wrote the end. There you go. And what a ter- what a terrible way for Sasquatch, the <laughs> gentlest, the, the the most majestic of American folklore creatures to die. He put his spike into the tree, and then Sasquatch, like a big dummy, just ran into it. <laughs> just ran into it. So, uh, cool. what would you rate the Snow Beast from 1977? I think we have to make two ratings. I think we have to make two ratings here. We have to make okay. a rating from a uh, from a film perspective, um, of okay. which I'm going to give it for a for a made for TV movie. Um, I'm going to give it a five out of ten. I think it is kind of important to point out that this is a made for TV movie from in the seventies, from the mid seventies. So it's from the like seventies, five out of ten. From, from, as, as someone who, uh, not believes, but, uh, respects the legend of Sasquatch, (laughs) two out of 10, two out of 10, you did, you, you you really screwed Sasquatch in this one, guys. He, 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 he was, he was so careful throughout the movie. He, he was so careful and stealthy. And then his death is just. I ran into a ski pole. Well, my Not biggest cool. issue with this movie is that we don't really get any answers. What the hell was it? Was it Sasquatch? Was it a snow beast? We never really saw this thing for more than three seconds, which I think the unholy could take a couple notes for. <laughs> it was Sasquatch. When you, when you don't show every single piece of the monster, it's much more... It's left much more up to the imagination as far yeah. as what it could be and what it is. Yeah. And, no, I think um, um, in that way it actually kind of worked in its favor. But I think that overall, I would rate this about a four out of ten. I think that this is uh, long, unnecessarily long for no reason. We don't get enough of a payoff in any regard. Thank and, Christ uh, they didn't make a mini series out of this. Yeah, no kidding. Can you imagine? No, no, I can't. I cannot imagine sitting here for a, another 30 to 45 minutes. Well, I am pretty drunk, and I think it's uh, time to call it. So if you guys like this, make sure you hit the like button. If you really liked it, make sure you hit the subscribe button, because we got a lot more content like this on this channel as well as coming in the future. And uh, if you uh, like this movie... For the love of God, tell us why, Um, because I would genuinely be interested in uh, what is going through your head if this is the type of thing that you're genuinely into. Um, (laughs) Thank you guys so much for watching uh, Drunk Drive-In or Drunken Drive-In or whatever it is we labeled it. We end up naming this. We have to do this some more though. This is so we do, much yeah. fun. No, this, this is a is lot of fun. So much fun. I'm much, much more drunk than I intended to get. Yeah. And um I had more popcorn probably than I meant to. And there's still a comically large amount left. <laughs> <laughs> so um thank you guys for watching. If you like this, leave a like and we will see you guys next time on Drunk Drive In from the Jeep. Mm. Bye bye. I have to work in eight hours. (laughs) 